Hello everyone, Conscientious Reefer here, and in today's video, I just like to talk about how I never clean my sand bed. Yeah, you heard that right. I don't touch my sand bed. I don't gravel back. I don't touch it. I don't stir it up. Nothing. And in today's video, I just want to talk about how I can do that and what I use to accomplish that. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Yup, you guys heard right. Like I said in the intro, I don't touch this sand bed, and I want to tell you guys why. Well, first of all, when I first started reefing, I had a very fine sand bed. I didn't really know what I was doing, and I chose a very, very fine sand, so I wasn't able to gravel vacuum it. So I ended up having to buy a lot of cleanup crew to keep it clean, because every time I tried to gravel vacuum it, it would all suck up and just make a huge sandstorm. Because in the freshwater days, every water change, you would gravel vacuum. But since I had that fine sand, I obviously couldn't do that. So I ended up putting a lot of cleanup crew, like sand sifting stars, conches, snails, all sorts of things, and that really helped. And I never touched the sand bed once in that tank. And I carried that same methodology to this tank. As you can see, I've, the sand bed is nice and white. Never cleaned it. This tank's almost been up for two years. I've never gravel vacuumed. Done. I've done nothing to it. I don't stir it up. I have a lot of cleanup crew though for cleaning it. I just want to take you through some of the cleanup crew I have that keep it so clean. So one is this sand sifting starfish right here. A lot of people think you can't keep these guys long term, but this guy's at least I've at least had him for three years because he was in my old tank and I transferred him to this tank. I've had him for a long time. So the misconception that oh you can't keep these long term is I think it's false, judging by this guy and my. My dad has one in his tank. He's also had for a couple of years now. Just, I think maybe sand, people's sand beds might be too clean, or they put them in too young of a tank. Like the sand might, like it's not mature enough to host it. There's not enough organisms or organics or whatever these things eat for the, to sustain them while they're in there. So I think having a mature sand bed that's untouched helps keep them alive. Another, uh, a uh, queen of crew member I have is um, a conch snail. I can't remember what species this is, but um, conches do a great job of stirring up the sand. I usually like to have one or two. Just You don't want to overdo it, but you want to have just the right amount. You want if want to have a little more, like if I vacuumed my sand bed, I would probably not have as much queen of crew in here. But since I don't vacuum, I have extra sand queen of crew if that makes sense. So we got a, the sand sifting conch and I have these little black uh, Nasaria snails. These guys are very effective. They're very cheap. You can get a lot of them for very cheap. And I also have the normal white Nasaria snails. I'll have, so those are all the, and then I also have, um, you know, hermit crabs. I mean, they stir up the sand a little bit, but they're not sand dwellers like these animals are right here. But, yeah, my methodology for, I don't touch the sand, I put creatures in it to do the job for me, because I don't want a gravel vac if I can get animals to clean it for me. And not touching the sand for almost two years, it still looks pretty white to me. So, yeah, that's kind of it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys gravel vac, or if you guys just let it go, or what do you do for your sand bed. Or if you have a bare bottom tank, I'll, I definitely would like to hear what you guys have down in the comments. But if you enjoyed today's video guys, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.